Hey guys, welcome back again to another Tech Guru video. Today I uh, will be going over the new Adobe Creative Cloud Suite. Uh, not really a suite, it's a new pricing structure for Adobe's products. Uh, Adobe, the Suite CS6, is on the very near horizon. I don't know exactly a release date for that yet, but they did announce a new pricing structure. It is called, it's not just a pricing structure, uh, it's more of a cloud-based service, kind of like an app store for their products, and uh, I've got a little details on that now. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it. First off, what is Adobe Creative Cloud? Uh, first off, it's a new monthly pricing structure. It's a new pricing structure by Adobe that will hopefully allow uh, the products to be more widely available to those people who may not previously been able to afford them because if you do get like the design suite it's over a thousand bucks it's like 900 bucks and even if you did have a previous version such as CS4 or CS5 you still were going to have to shell out a very good amount of money. Uh, next it's like an online file storage and sharing system so uh, with this you'll be able to store your files on the cloud your your projects and download them from other machines other uh, computers that you have the Creative Cloud uh, system installed on. Uh, also, the sharing and collaboration, they're going above and beyond. Uh, this is just going along with all of the new social media aspects of the internet with Twitter and Facebook and Pinterest and everything else. Uh, they're giving you ways to collaborate and share your projects and documents and files that you create with their products online. It's a great, great thing. I, I totally am for this and I believe they're doing a wonderful wonderful thing for their their customers and their products uh, you have access to all of the new updates and applications that they create and they're really pushing the slogan that they will have new updates and new applications uh, at a very frequent rate so uh, that's very exciting and as I have already said it's somewhat of an app store like environment you'll be able to you know pick and choose which applications you're wanting to get for the monthly price that you decide to pay uh, creative cloud pricing structure so this is the membership, uh, Creative Cloud membership uh, thing off of Adobe's website. For a one-year plan, you can get an annual plan. Uh, it's a U.S. for the Creative Cloud uh, suite, which is all of the, the, the programs, you know, Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, uh, Premiere Pro, uh, all of that good stuff. You get uh, $49.99 per month if you go ahead and commit to an annual plan. So if you commit to them that you will pay the $49.99 per month for a whole year, you get it for 50 bucks per month. Now, if you just do it on a month-to-month -month plan, which I really don't understand this, just Adobe, go ahead and give it to us for $49.99 a month. Don't worry about these annual or month-to-month -month plans. But if you do decide to do it on a month-to-month -month basis, it'll be $74.99. So a big difference there of 25 bucks per Per month if you decide to go month to month instead of for a whole year. Uh, if you have a student and teacher edition, it will go down to $29.99 per month. And also, if you're a current CS5 customer, you also have the uh, option to go for that $29.99 per month price. So that's kind of how they're doing their membership pricing structure. Here is a product comparison chart that was off of Adobe's website. As you see there, uh, the price for Adobe Photoshop CS6 extended in Photoshop regular CS6 is $6.99 and $9.99. Uh, uh, and then you get all of this stuff. You see the little dots over here to the right for $49.99 a month with the new Creative Cloud. So all of these products will be available for you and they will be in your new Creative Suite pricing plan if you do decide to go that route. Uh, and as I had already mentioned, the store and share, I'm going to go ahead and read what they say on Adobe's website. It says, it makes it easy to create and collaborate freely so your creativity can flow when and where inspiration strikes. Uh, the automatic cloud storage and file syncing capabilities allow you to rely, reliably access your files wherever you are, even on your mobile devices. So that's a pretty big deal. Uh, you'll be able to access your projects and files on your mobile devices, show them off, go to meetings, and whatnot. Share your concepts with clients or colleagues more easily than ever. Plus, you'll be able to plug into a wider community of creatives with new community features coming soon to Creative Cloud. So that's pretty much telling you there's going to be all types of social you know, stuff going on with the Creative Cloud pricing structure. Question is, will you rent 
Photoshop. Uh, with the new pricing model, it will make the Adobe Creative Suite accessible to more people as well as allow more sharing and collaboration of projects. But how do you feel about this new rent to own model? Will you sign up for this? Obviously, if you were going to go ahead and buy CS6 in the first place, obviously you're probably going to go ahead and you know, jump the gun and get this creative cloud service because really, you know, if you can't shell out that 1400 bucks or whatever it may be for the, the product that you were going to originally get. So I understand that. But how do you feel about this new pricing model and will you sign up for it when it is released? You can already pre-order it on Adobe's website. I will put a link down to that in the description box below. So let me know what you think about it, guys. As always, with all of my videos, thank you so much for watching my videos already above 500 subscribers. I'm very excited about that. I will be continually producing more content on technology and reviews and tutorials, whatever uh, you guys want to see. So thanks again for watching my videos. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment because it does help me out. And if you do have any questions about this new Adobe Creative Cloud model. Please, guys, put them in the comment box below. I'll be more than happy to see if I can get the answers to you as quick as possible. And as always, guys, thank you very much, and I will see you guys next time.